I like snowflakes. From Utah's most accurate forecast, here's a pinpoint weather update on Utah's CW30. My vote is snowflake. What a cutie pie. Mm -hmm. Adorable. Do you have any other options when we're talking about weather here this morning? you got to <laughs> go with something weather related. You have to. Mm -hmm. Especially since some spots are actually seeing snow out there this morning. Looking at you, Logan, and apparently in Ogden, <laughs> we've seen the rain transition over to snow. You know, yesterday we were talking about upper 70s in Salt Lake City once again, but it is not the case out there this morning. No, it's crazy how many different weather situations we're yeah. seeing in the span of 24 hours. Yeah, but because of all the wet weather that we've seen, I know it's been dry over the last few days, but because the latest drought, the last drought monitor last week did not represent our entire storm total, the one that came out this morning does, and we have made even more progress on our drought situation. We are now sitting with 31% of the state in no drought category at all, which is fantastic news for this Friday Eve. Again, we still have drought situations across a lot of the state, but the Wasatch Mountains have been taken out of the drought categories, including abnormally dry, where most of the Wasatch Front at this point is in that abnormally dry category. And with more moisture that's falling out there right now, hopefully we continue to chip away at that drought situation as we go throughout the next several weeks. But when it comes to what we're seeing out there this morning, the flood concerns continue, especially for Emigration Creek. The good news here is with the colder air moving in, we've kind of seen things stabilize a little bit. Emigration Creek is now below flood stage and is expected to continue to drop as we go throughout the next several hours. But you can definitely tell we've seen all kinds of issues and through Emigration Canyon down Emigration Creek. You have not only debris out of the road, but you also have mud on the road as well. But that's not the only place that we've seen flooding along the Wasatch Front. We've seen at least an isolated report in Utah County, Salt Lake County, Davis County, and here in Weber County. This was from North Ogden shared by Jamie Richards as all that flood water was going down into a storm drain. But we are getting that relief because the colder air is working its way into northern Utah. That will help stabilize things a little bit. The cold front hasn't made its way into the southern and eastern Utah yet, but it's currently on its way towards you. But in northern Utah, we're seeing straight snow in Logan. We've seen that rain transition over to snow in Ogden, mainly seeing rain in Davis County. While the wet weather is working its way towards Salt Lake and Utah counties and Tooele counties as well or I should say to the Tuella Valley. Meanwhile, as you get up to the benches, into the canyons, into the mountains, we are seeing times of snow. In the valleys, it's going to be hard to see those slushy conditions because of how warm it's been recently. So those snowflakes, they'll hit the pavement. They'll likely melt. If the snow sticks around long enough, though, we could see at least some slushy conditions. And one place where it could become slushy is in the Wasatch back. This is Ogden Nordic in Liberty where you can see snowflakes currently flying in the southern portion of the state. It's a mostly cloudy start to the morning, but a calm start to the morning. 53 degrees in Cedar City, so not too many issues as you head off to work or school there. The cold front finally has some momentum. It's being pushed by this upper level trough coming in from the northwest, and that's why we're seeing that moisture currently in northern Utah. But as we go from this morning into the afternoon, the best chance for wet weather will migrate from northern Utah into eastern Utah, and we could see some showers down south. We'll go through the future cast in just a moment, but another good thing with this front is it will help kind of stabilize the snow as well with those colder temperatures. The avalanche warning has been allowed to expire for the northern Utah mountains and foothills, but we're still looking at considerable avalanche danger from the Provo area through the Ogden area and still high avalanche danger for the Logan area. So even though the threat has gone down, it hasn't gone away completely, but hopefully we see little Cottonwood Canyon open because Big Cottonwood Canyon was able to open to both uphill and downhill traffic yesterday. Let's go and begin the future cast at 11 o'clock this morning and the future cast showing there's still going to be a decent chance for showers even along the Wasatch Front, mainly into Salt Lake and Utah counties by that particular time. And with the colder air that continues to move in, we could see times of rain, we could see times of wintry mix, and we could see times of straight snow. Not expecting anything significant down in our valleys. We could pick up over a couple of inches though in the mountains. As we go from this afternoon, to this evening, though, the best chance for wet weather will migrate into the eastern portion of the state. Maybe a few showers as far south as Cedar City. South Central Utah will have a decent chance. St. George looks to be mostly on the dry side of things, but a few isolated showers will be at least a possibility in the high country around Washington County. That best chance will continue to be in southeastern Utah through this evening, and as the cold front pulls away, We'll see calmer conditions from tonight into tomorrow morning with some trailing energy that will be arriving by tomorrow afternoon and some lingering moisture. Isolated showers will be a possibility in northern Utah, but the vast majority of the state will stay dry. And even in northern Utah, most of us will stay dry tomorrow as temperatures will moderate slightly. And St. George will be in the lower 70s for today. Windy conditions, partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies across the southwest desert. And again, in Cedar City, there will be at least a chance for some wet weather. Tonight, we'll be dropping into the 40s in St. George, upper 60s for our Friday, but temperatures will go on a warming trend with 
the high pressure building in for this upcoming weekend. Mid 70s on Saturday, low 80s on Sunday. Temperatures will begin to ease back down closer to our seasonal averages by the middle of next week. Then along the Wasatch front, chance of rain and snow showers for today with that best chance, mainly before noon. Then we could actually see some sunshine breaking through, but temperatures only going to be stuck in the 40s, mid, low to mid 30s for tonight, low 50s for our Friday with that isolated chance. Again, not a very high chance, less than 20%. But for our Saturday and Sunday, temperatures go on that warming trend. We'll be back in the low to mid 70s for your Sunday into your Monday. Then with the system coming in for the middle of next week, we'll see temperatures ease back down and there will be at least a chance for some wet weather. As we check the traffic out there this morning, it has been busy. I-15 northbound from Draper into Sandy. There was a fatal accident that's still leading to a very big backup. And again, that's I-15 northbound. If you're going from, from Draper up into Salt Lake City, you're going to need to build in at least an extra 10 to 15 minutes. And then I-80 eastbound in Parley's Canyon. There was a mudslide earlier this morning and it closed I-80 eastbound. So you still probably want to take either Provo Canyon or Weber Canyon, but just in we have seen one lane reopen, so traffic is going to move very slowly through there. So if you don't want to take that alternate route, you probably want to build in at least an extra hour at this point if you're going from Salt Lake into Park City this morning as they continue to clear the road from that debris from that mudslide. Safe travels. Yeah.